Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can enhance your Safari experience. Now I showed you how you can adjust reader settings in my previous video so do go ahead and check that out. But today I'm just going to show you some general Safari tips that will make your browsing experience better than before. Now if I go into Safari, the first tip I'm going to show you is how you can quickly add bookmarks and reading list items. So the traditional way of doing it is go hitting the share button and scrolling across to click add bookmark or add to reading list. However, in this iOS 9 there's a newer way to do it. If you hold down the bookmarks icon which is highlighted on the screen now, you'll come up with these options so I can either add a bookmark or add it to my reading list. So you just have a quicker way of accessing those options. Now I'm going to show you how you can view your search history when using the back button so if I hold down on the back button so again this one highlighted here on the screen what it will do it will actually display the previously used websites so I can go back to a certain website instead of having to clicking back through each individual one so I can just go straight back to one that I was using earlier so that's a nice feature to have and now I'm going to show you another thing which is how you can request desktop sites so as you can see I'm on the mobile version of BBC News and I can request the desktop site in two ways I can either hit the share button and then just click request desktop site or as I'm going to show you a much quicker way is by holding down on the refresh button so this button highlighted on the screen now just press and hold on that and then just tick, click request desktop site and I did actually find that it doesn't always work for all types of websites so for some websites, such as this BBC News website, it won't actually request the desktop website. I did find sort of a flaw in that. I think developers do have to sort of input that into their websites. But I found that for many websites, that's very useful. So there are other things you may want to use that for. Now I'm going to show you some opening options. I think you probably may know this. If I press and hold on the link, as I've just done, it will give me a few options. So I can open the link, which is essentially the same as just tapping on it. I can open it in a new tab. I can add it to reading list straight from here and I can also copy the link if I want to paste it in say an email or a text message to someone. Now I'm going to show you how you can use private mode. Now private mode is a mode in Safari which you can use if you don't want Safari to be keeping your history or also filling your iCloud keychain passwords and that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do to activate it, hit this tab button in the bottom right, it's now highlighted on the screen. and once you've done that, in the bottom left, highlighted now, is the private button. If I click on that, what it will do is it will enter a separate mode. So it won't remember the pages you visit, all your search history, or it won't also fill any of your information. So if you have any passwords saved in iCloud Keychain, then those won't be auto-filled. And this would be useful for perhaps if you're using a shared iPad or something device and perhaps you don't want people seeing what you've been searching. So perhaps if you're shopping Christmas presents for someone, you don't want them to know what you've been shopping for them. So you'll put in private browsing mode and then they won't be able to go back into the history and see what you've been doing. So that's a very handy feature for those of you who would use that. Now next I'm going to talk about how you can open a recently closed tab. Now, what you can do is actually open a tab that you've just closed. So perhaps if you've accidentally closed a tab by accident, perhaps you swiped it off, then you can reopen it. If you press and hold on the plus button, which is highlighted, it will actually come up with your recently closed tabs. Now, I haven't actually closed any tabs recently, but if you had closed any tabs, then it will actually appear there, and you can just click on it, the one that you want to open, and it will just open it back where you were. I'm just going to hit done. And the last tip I'm going to show you is how you can rearrange tabs. It's pretty simple. You can just take a tab and just hold on it. All the others will get greyed out and you can just drag them into the correct position and then just let go. It's quite simple, but it's a nice thing. I know many people have told me in the past that, oh, you can't really rearrange things in Safari and it doesn't give you that many options. It's just that it's quite a feature that not many people know is there, but it's there. You can just press and hold on any tab and just move it around if you want to get it in the correct order and that's something I use quite a lot. But anyway, they are some tips for using Safari on iOS 9. Now most of these features are available on only iOS 9, however some will be available in iOS 8. 
and a few of them may be in different places but obviously you can get in contact with me if you have any problem with that or anything else in this video if you have a problem with any of it do let me know by using the details that will be down in the description of the video obviously you can send a comment as well don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video